Hi, Shabbat Tov, everyone. We had a good Shabbat, didn't we, Netanel, yeah? Here you are, learning Torah. Motzei Shabbat, there's nothing like it. How was your Shabbat? It was good? Yes. Yes? And you know what we did? We went to shul last night. We went also this morning. And what better thing at night time to learn Torah together, Avot Banim, and then uh, to read kid stories at night time before he's going to sleep. The importance of everyone out there, many of you listening, have kids. And you know, we could put our kids to sleep in the night time and tell them stories about Bambi and uh, Cinderella, but no. The best thing to do at the night time when we're putting the kids to sleep is to tell them some Torah stories. Over here, you've got a story here. Another one of the kids going to shul. There's uh, Pasha Tashavua stories to tell them. There's stories from the Tanakh, the Torah Nebim Ketuvim. I told you a story about a famous Shabbat story called Parashamer Shabbat, the cow that kept the Shabbat. Nachon? Do you like that story? I'll tell you in a nutshell what it is. He's listening to everything. He's got, you want to learn some Chumash now? Mm. Or you want to listen to the story also? So Netanel, what happened with the story of Parash Shemet Shabbat? It was a famous story. Oh, he's very, very tired, aren't you? Yeah? Thank you. Oh, I love this kid. So what happened, friends? Inside this story, there was a guy that became poor, a religious guy. And he, he, uh, he needed to sell his assets at the time. And one of the things that he had was a cow. A cow that did all work for him, because we're talking about 2,000 years ago in the Gemara time period, in the Talmudic time period, uh, people didn't have cars, they didn't have tractors. So they used cows or animals in order to work inside their land to, uh, land to graze their fields, wherever it might have been. So he sold this cow so that he could pay money, he can have money to uh, sustain his family and everything else. Yes? Yes, Netanel? Yes. So what happened over there? He sold it to a non-Jewish person. It was a Jewish person, a righteous Jewish person, sold it to a non-Jewish person. And the cow was working hard every single day, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. When, lo and behold, when it comes to Saturday, the Shabbat, remember the non-Jew doesn't need to keep Shabbat. All of a sudden, this cow that was previously owned by the religious Jew refuses to work on Shabbat. And the non-Jew, what did he do? The non-Jewish person, the guy went mad at the, Jewish, the, at the cow? Yes? He went mad, he went crazy, he started shouting, everything else. And he was furious, so he ran to the Jewish person's house, the religious person's house, and says to him, you sold me a cow that uh, it's not working for me on the Saturday, it's my busiest day. So the Jewish religious person goes to the cow and whispers to him in his ear that, look, for a non-Jewish person, they don't need to keep Shabbat, and you're owed by a non-Jew now, so the non-Jew is allowed to work, you so now work. So the cow worked at the end, on Shabbat, uh, uh, eventually, and this non-Jew was mesmerized. He said, wow, look what's happened over here. He's working all of a sudden. And everything else was astounded. And then he decided to search within the vast of Judaism because this is astounding. And he became a, a rabbi a few years later. What was his name? Ekorim Le'ish? Rabbi Yochanan Ben Torte. Rabbi Yochanan Ben Torte it was. He became a famous great rabbi at the end. And he just saw the amazement of this Jewish person that uh, was so righteous. The cow even kept the Shabbat because of the righteousness of the Jewish person and uh, that's a story I was related to him and then this person this non-Jew became so religious he started learning so much Torah because he was so amazed by it that he started keeping Shabbat eventually became a rabbi and a great Torah teacher a famous Shabbat story the story of Parash Shemar Shabbat I think it's time we say Shema Yisrael everyone say good night to everyone no you say good night to everyone um, say Laila Tov we're gonna say Shema his English is not that good his Hebrew is excellent I'm going to tell him maybe another story. You want another story tonight? Okay. Yes, he wants. He loves the stories. The guy Shabbat Tov. And it's the uh, third installment within regards to the Shabbat stories. And it's me and him. I don't know where Itamar is now. He needs to come. Our other son, the younger son, also, he li loves listening to stories. Nachon, every night, the Tzadich, to say stories. Be'ez Rot Hashem, you're going to have many children and you're going to tell all of them a lot of stories. So guys, good night here from Israel. Over here, putting the kids to sleep. Nothing like it. And take care. We're going to say Shema Yisrael. I'll tell him another story. So Shabbat Tov. Hope you all have an amazing Shabbat. And everything is good. And remember the advice. You're inside the house. Put, tell your kids some Torah related stories. Bible stories at night time. To get them in the mood for a good week. And don't rely on all these uh, fairy tale stories. Which uh, people are watching the movies and stuff like that. The best thing is Torah stories. With a good moral message. Have a great night guys. And bye.